forget this. Why didn't I just trash it? Along with everything else you built. It's all starting to crumble, Victor. By the time I get through, everything you ever had is going to be rubble. How's that for vengeance, you and your filthy, filthy little secret? Uh, come in. Come in. Hey, Vicky. What's all this? This, Mr. Buchanan, sir, is a celebration. Of what? Of what? Of mm -hmm. the fact that you found a way for us to publish the banner, even with our presses being shut down. Thanks so much for coming down so quickly. Well, thanks for inviting me. Well, when you said that you found a press that we could use to get out tomorrow's edition, I thought, that is my rock. Nothing knocks him down. Well, the press isn't running yet. I just located it this afternoon, so everything's running late. Oh. I've got to get over there uh, oh. by 8 3. Well, you have time for a little glass of wine, don't you? Uh, now? Yeah, it's just a little celebration. Uh, well, I don't think Clint, I really should. Clint, you said everything's running late. I mean, it won't matter if you're not there this instant, will it? Please. Oh, please, please, please. For me, please. All right. <laughs> I've always got time for you. You know that. Yeah, I know that. But I guess kids will say anything. They can't keep secrets. I won't let anybody hurt you. Shh. 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 I'll protect you. You're a very, very good girl. What's your name, sweetheart? Princess. He calls me princess. Yes. A child will say anything. Yeah, but now, me, I am really careful about what I say, which goes along with the territory, I guess. I'm mean, much more sophisticated than I used to be. You know what? I bet if you and I spent some more time together... Speaking of time, I didn't realize it come so late. Yeah, I really do. Over. I'm sorry, I have to run. Will you give your Aunt Addie a big hug for me? Tell her I'm so happy that I was here for her birthday. No, but wait. See, I was kind of hoping that maybe we could sit down and talk about me coming to live with you. I'm sorry, I have to run. Oh, why don't you go check on Addie and, and your cousin Blair? See what's taking them so long on the terrace. Bye-bye, dear. That diary. I've got to get Princess to come out and get her to tell me where it is. Great. Still in prison. Why go talk to Blair? She doesn't want me to live with her either. Cord, you don't understand. Blair doesn't love Todd. She loves you. Eddie, I know that may be the way that you remember it. And I really Mother, appreciate you, Ruth. For heaven's sake, uh, what are you talking about? Relax, Blair. Your mom's just speaking her mind. How could you say something like that, Mama? I did a bad all right, thing. It's all right, all right. Why don't you take it easy? Here, Todd. You're okay. It's okay. Todd, look, you, you know that Mother's in insane hands for a reason. Todd, you know that. And sometimes she just Chill gets... Out, okay? Stop beating up on your mother. She can say what she wants. But the... If she said anything to hurt your feelings, I'm really sorry. She just... The only reason she would say something like that is because she she likes Cord. I mean, sometimes she just says the most outrageous things, you There's know? There's nothing I mean? outrageous about her saying that you love Cord. Forget it. I'm gonna go anyway. Todd, please. Please don't go. Please, just... Just give Mama some time to get used to you, that's all. Please, just give her a chance. I want this birthday to end on a, a good note for her sake. Please stay. Just a while, please.
Whoa! Well, look at you. You going to a costume party? Uh, no. This is what everyone's wearing now. Really? Yeah. Kelly says the to 70s are totally in. You know, like the Brady Bunch movie and stuff. Kelly. Oh, Kelly, yes. I ran into her at the charity ball. She she was wearing a feather boa. So, well, she, so she knows all about fashion. Actually, if you want my opinion, I think she's totally way ahead of people here in Landview. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah. So where are you going? The movies. Kim's going to pick me up, and we're going to go to the country club so I can meet Kelly. Do you think these satin pants are too much? Should I go change? No. No, you should wear whatever you want. Don't mind me. I'm sorry. I'm wigging out. I ran into Dorian earlier at the club, and that's enough to put anybody in a bad mood. What happened? <sighs> you wouldn't believe. She came in, she sauntered in, she threw herself all over David, and she planted a big wet one right on him, and then she kept draping herself all over him, wouldn't let go. It was disgusting. Aren't David <clears throat> and Dorian newlyweds? Mm. Yeah. So aren't they, isn't that the way newlyweds are supposed to act? Besides, I thought you hated David. I do. I can't tell you how much I hate David. Right. I mean, he treated you so rotten and then ran off and got that quickie divorce. So you're over him, right? Absolutely. Completely over him for good. Look, I I'm going to go make myself a salad. Do you want one? Uh, no, thanks. Kelly and I are going to pig out at the movies. <laughs> All right. Well, have fun. Thanks. Jessica, is your mother at home? Uh, no, she's down at the banner. I was just ready to leave. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder, if, could I use the phone? My car phone seems to be on the fritz, and I, I've got to return a message. Um, oh, sure, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's my ride. Well, you go right ahead. I'm just going to be a minute, and uh, when I'm finished, I'll just show myself out. Okay, see ya. Bye. I'll be Don't inside. Leave. I got things I gotta do. You work things out with your mother. Just don't take forever. Okay. I, I know I did a bad thing. It's 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 all right, Mama. I just we have to think before we say things that could wind up hurting people's feelings, that's all. But you do love court. Eddie, look, that's not your place to say. That's something that Blair needs to say, okay? Oh. Well, then, why don't you say it, Blair? Mama, I am married to Todd, all right? And we're having a baby. And it is not nice of you to say things to hurt Todd, okay? I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. I know you will, Mama. And I love you. All right? Now, we got to get going. Say goodbye to Cord. Goodbye, Cord. I'm sorry I said the wrong thing. Hey, come on. No, you said a lot of right things, too. Hey, and you gave me a big hug tonight. I like that a lot. That's right. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, listen, you may want to know. Um, Luna had the babies. Twins. Boy and a girl. Oh, she did. Mm -hmm. so that, that's great. I, I didn't even know that she was due. Did she have... Um, I mean, is she okay? Yeah, everything, right? everything's fine. Everybody's fine. <laughs> twins. That would be fun, to play with twins. Maybe you'll have twins, Blair. Yeah, Mama. We'll see. Well, we better get going because the car is out front and Todd's waiting, all right? Say goodbye. Goodbye, Cord. Thank you for coming to my party. It's my pleasure, Eddie. Bye-bye.
Just get it done, Lou. And don't let Briggs talk anybody into being careful. The guy's such a wuss. I love those phones. Can I see it? No. I'm leaving. Tell Blair I couldn't wait around all night. Hey, Todd. You heard the latest? The banner is back on the streets tomorrow morning. No more free ride for the sun. You got it backwards, Kev. No more free ride for the banner. The sun is taking away all of your readers. Well, Todd, a few trashy headlines don't make a newspaper. And they sure don't build long-term readership. What the public demands is consistent quality. Inside. Yeah? Well, I bet I got a few cops reading the inside of my paper. That is, if they can put their donuts down long enough. Both those articles you wrote about the LPD are nothing but lies. Number one, we're hardly doing nothing. We have had beefed up patrols around the Angel Square area for over a month. Number two, no police officer, none of us, would ever think of selling guns to kids. We're doing our, we're working our hardest to get these guns off To protect and to serve, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, the crime rate still keeps going up. While a patrolman, excuse me, a patrol person, sits here and stuffs her blonde face full of caviar. What's wrong with this picture? You are way out of line. Maybe I ought to do a big story on you, huh? The rookie who danced the night away. Put your pretty little face on my front page. I don't want to hear another word out of you. You hear me? Come on, Kevin. Not one more word. To the banner. Nope. To the man who's going to see to it that the banner is out on the stands tomorrow. Well, assuming I get over to Carter printing by 8.30. Hmm. Let me see. No, there's plenty of time. Plenty. You know, it's a great feeling. The banner may have suffered a knockdown. But come tomorrow morning, it'll be back on his feet, slugging it out. You've always loved this paper, haven't you? Sure have. Also love being married to its publisher. I mean, it wasn't for forever, but it was a good long run. And uh, also had an awful lot of fun working here with her. But so many compliments. All deserved. Another compliment. May I please? Certainly. Thank you. You know, uh, Clint, I know I haven't let you know recently how appreciated you are. I mean, here at the paper and and in my life. And I think that that is really going to have to change. Why don't you just get out of here? What, do you own the country club now, too? Do you know what your problem is, Kevin? I'm winning, and you just can't stand that. Todd, sweetie, um, would you come say goodbye to Mama with me, please? Fine. Fair warning, Blondie. Don't live and die by police department cover-ups. Check your own facts. Oh, hey, Kevin. What was that all about? Oh, man, I should have... I should have ducked the guy. Why? So I could bring you in for assault and battery. Assault and battery? What happened? Oh, don't tell me. Kevin yeah. ran into Todd, just, right? Just, just forget Todd Manning, all right? Yeah, fine with me. Forgotten. Anybody want some coffee? No, you know what? I'm gonna get ready to go down to this dance thing down on Water Street. Tell them it's time to go. A dancing? What do you mean, a dance party? One of those floating dance party things? Yes. Oh. You gonna head down there now? Why, you want to go? Well, I might, if Andy would like to go. <laughs> oh. We could uh, check out the kids in the neighborhood. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's right near Angel Square. Uh, maybe we can get some kids that might talk to us. Hey, wait, what's the security like down there? Oh, it's, it's always cool. I mean, it's just a bunch of, you know, Landview High kids and Landview University kids. And so everyone's there just to have, have a good time. Uh, let's do it. Great. Okay. You're on. Hey, Cord, <laughs> you want to go? It's a dance thing. Oh, well, I don't know. I think I'm a little long in the tooth for the oh, dance thing. On. But uh, I'm going to play a little tennis. I'm going to go home and call a oh. night and soak my teeth in a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, the lights almost went out. Happy birthday, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, great, great, great. Happy. So, are we through here yet? Mama, I want you to know that Todd here 
has made all my dreams come true. Did you know that on Monday, a new line of Melador products is going to be in the stores? Good. Free samples. That's right, Kelly. And every morning, I wake up in my beautiful new penthouse and read my husband's fantastic newspaper. Not to mention our baby on the way. I mean, you talk about happy. There's not one thing in the world that I could ask for except that my mother here and my, my husband aren't on friends yet. So, Mama, from this birthday on, I, I want you two to work on that, okay? Okay. Okay. Many, many happy returns, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're going to these, these two guys. <laughs> they go good. You want to know what I'm doing here? That's the question. Yeah. Can't you guess? Just answer the question. What are you doing here? Why were you going upstairs? Don't be dumb. You know very well why I'm here. I came here to see you. Excuse me? Yes. I wonder if we couldn't go someplace, talk privately so we don't disturb your sister. Vicky's not home. And if she were, she would throw you out, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm afraid not, Tina. We have some things we need to straighten out, and I want to do it right now. I want you to stay away from my husband. What? Oh, please, don't even try that little Miss Innocent act on me. Wait a minute. I'd have David nothing David told to me do. all about what happened that night at the country club when you followed him out to the terrace the night of the gala. You practically threw yourself on him. The poor <gasps> man couldn't fight you off because he had his arm in a sling. Tina, have you no sense of shame? Have you no self-control? Have you no pride whatsoever? This has been a nice birthday. I got lots of presents. I'm going to go to the bar and then go to the office. Todd, I was... He's... He's just busy. That's all. Mom, I tell you what, I will help you with your coat. But Kelly, would you do me a favor while you're waiting for Jessica? Would you help me get these presents to the car? Our valet is bringing the car around, please. Thank you. Okay. Leo. You're not still mad at me, are you? I promise I'll be nice to Todd. No, Mama. I am not mad at you. I love you, all right? And I will always, always take care of you. Come on. Let's go. I'll see you at home, sweetheart. Don't be late. No, actually, I'm glad you guys are coming to the dance. Uh, for a while, I thought I might be the oldest person there, but now that you're coming and bringing Grandpa here, I don't think it'll be a problem. <laughs> he says the nicest things, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, always makes people glad to have him around. Just be kind to your elder son, because you will soon be one. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry? Excuse me. Hi, Kelly. Hey. So are you going to the dance? Down by the docks on Water Street. I know where it is. I'm just surprised you're going. Oh, well, well, sometimes those dances can be fun. Really? Well, dancing with a bunch of Landview Elementary children on some cold, damp dock near the river is not my idea of a lot of fun. Jessica and I are going to an Eric Romer film at the university. Eric Romer. Now oh, that's a snore. Well, you guys have fun. Stay awake. Yeah. Hey, very cool. I love the pants. Thanks. All set to go? There has been a change in plans, my friend. We are going to a dance instead. Isn't that cool? Where? At the river, down on Water Street. But I told my mom I was going to the film center at the university. So, that's what I told Andrew and Cassie, too. Would they want you to be driving your car down by the docks? Relax. They'll never know. Come on, let's go. David told you I was, what, chasing him? Is that No, it? no, hounding him. 
relentlessly, shamelessly. Personally, I suggested that he file a sexual harassment suit uh, against you. But due to the fact that you were once married, uh, the judge might just... You know what? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I would never throw myself at David. You know, I don't even care if you two are getting a divorce. I don't... I would never chase after David. Tina, who told you that we're getting a divorce? David told me that you two are getting... Oh. Tina, 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 really, you must stop believing things, such silly things when people say them to you. You saw David and me at the club earlier today, didn't you? Yes. Did that look like a man who wanted a divorce? No. Oh, I tell you, things get more and more passionate between us day and, well, and night. The sex has never been better. Our only problem is that you won't leave him alone. I... I... I won't... I won't leave him alone? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you this, Dorian, and you can take it to the bank. I am going to leave David alone definitely and permanently. And you tell him to leave me alone. You got that? Oh, yes. Good. Then get out. Absolutely. I'm so glad we cleared the air between... Oh. Excuse me, I wonder if I couldn't use the phone. My car phone seems to be broken, and I have to return a very important message. Fine. Call your plastic surgeon back. You know what? I'm throwing this salad away. I lost my appetite. When I get back, I want you out of this home. No problem. It's just a short phone call. them one day and get hurt. You know, I just about broke my neck on this roller blade of yours. Oh, not me. I'm gonna have to go anyway. Oh, no, you don't. You said you didn't have to be there for a while. Yes, but, uh, Vicky, if they're ready to roll early, then it's toward... Is your what? hand okay? Huh? Your right hand. The one you had bandaged after you hurt it trying to change that tire? Yeah, it's fine. Why? Well, it just seems that lately you've been using your left hand to do everything, and uh, it's kind of funny. Oh, you're right. It is kind of funny. <laughs> Ah, uh, maybe, um, after I have a glass of wine, I become left-handed, hmm? <laughs> We both know what I'm like after I've had two glasses of wine. Well, I do seem to recall some rather interesting evenings. <laughs> oh, Cliff, this is just terrific. Do you know, it seems like ages since we've just had time together, you know, just to relax. Well, that's because it's been ages. Oh, well, maybe we should set up weekly appointments to make sure it happens. Although I sure wouldn't want you to have to save the batter once a week. <laughs> oh, good God, no. Do you remember 
When your father had to take over the paper to help us out. Yeah, don't remind me. You talk about sleepless nights and endless lectures. I still think that we probably could have made it on our own without Ace's money, you know. Or at least we would have gone down trying. Uh, more than likely, it would have been the latter. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have been so bad. I mean, look at you. Your father was like a Texas King Midas. And you still went out and you did it all on your own. Well, if your father had been as big a tyrant as my father was, you'd have gone out on your own, too. Perhaps. Anyway, I do keep wondering more and more if all the wealth and privilege that our children have had has been good for them. I don't see that it's hurt them any. They're three very good kids. But what happens when life throws them a few nasty curves? Are they going to be able to cope? Sure they will. They'll know exactly what to do. They'll roll up their sleeves and, uh, and they'll get to work. Eh, well, I'm not so sure. Of course, you know me, I always worry. <laughs> well, you've had a lot on your plate this past year. First, you lose Sloan. Then you find out and have to deal with the fact that uh, Vickers is a fraud. And then Todd Manning walks into your life and says, how do you sis? I mean, that's enough to make anybody start doubting a whole bunch of things. But I really don't think our kids are a problem. Now, I gotta get going. Oh, Clint, please, please, please don't go quite Vicky, yet. Vicki, if I don't get down to Carter printing, we won't roll on time, and then we'll, we'll miss getting out another issue of the banner. We can't afford that. I understand. I, I, I guess I just didn't want to have to come right out and say it, but I am so worried about Jessica. I really am. What are you talking about? What about Jessica? I'm really worried about her safety. Really, I'm worried. member by the name of David Vickers. Mr. Vickers? Sure. Tennis fiend. Have you seen him around here tonight? Uh, no, I haven't, ma'am. Would you like to leave a message for him? No. Hey! Oh! Tina! I What's gotta, up? Gotta get out of here. I'm gonna kill somebody. Kill? Tina! Well, well uh, no. I mean, it's, it's not that I think something has happened to her, but, but uh... Uh, something might happen to her, you know? I mean, uh, her whole manner, it's, it's so changed. You know, she wants to go out every night, and, my goodness, the way she wears her hair and the way she dresses. Well, Vicki, you said yourself that the way she dressed was just fine. I heard you say it right in front of her. I did? Yes. Well, I, I mean, I guess I, I thought it was a phase, and it would pass, but it hasn't. I mean, things are getting much worse. You know, it's getting out of hand. Don't you agree? Well, I've never liked the weird stuff she was starting to wear. Well, Clint, I think that you're gonna have to be the one to talk to her. Really, I do, because she listens to you. I mean, you know, how she gets sometimes when I try and discipline her now. Will, will you do it? Will you talk to her, please? Well, yeah. Thanks. I'll see about taking her out to lunch some Saturday, or I'll have her over to dinner real soon, but I've, I've really got to get but, but, going now. Wait a minute. Now. What are you going to say to her? I mean, we have to know. We have to get our stories straight. I don't you know. know. I... I'll just... Uh, I've really got to get going, Clint, Vicky. Clint, please, now. can we finish this conversation? If, 
if I don't get over to Carter Printing, the presses have got to roll, and I've got to be there to okay the editorial page. Uh -huh. You don't want us to miss another, another edition of the banner, do you? Well, of course not. All right, then I'll, I'll talk to you in the morning. And thank you for everything. The industrious cowboy. I mean, how in heaven's name am I supposed to help Todd bring down the banner with Clint bustling around, fixing things just as fast as I can break them? for someone else. Don't do this. Do what? Just whiskey and soda. I know why you're upset. You do, huh? Yes, and you shouldn't be. I told you, Mama, she doesn't know what she's saying half the time. She, she's like a little kid. Yeah, well, little kids tell the truth, don't they? They just blurt it out. Cord, you are the one that Blair loves, not Todd. That's what she said. So why don't you just quit pretending that you care? What's the point? We both know the real truth. Jessica, I just want to know if you wanted to dance. Would you? No, John Travolta. <laughs> Go on, Kelly. I want to talk to Marcy and Joanne anyway. Okay, well, watch out for older men. <laughs> I'm like dying of flirts. Yeah, me too. Let's I said you're gonna come dance with me. Excuse me, get off of me. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Can you what she said? She said no. So goodbye. Thanks. That's all right. I don't want you to think for 
one second that I don't care about you because I do. And Todd, we're doing so well. Don't you think? Sure. Business-wise. Oh, come on. It's more than that. Todd, I'm your wife. We've got a new home. We've got a baby that we are getting ready Listen for. Listen to me, okay? I did what you asked me. I showed my ugly face at your mother's stupid little birthday party so you can quit playing this game now. What game? Our life isn't a game. Oh, come on, Blair. Give me a break. This marriage is a joke. You married me because you got pregnant, remember? That was the whole package. No pretty little ribbon around it. So when you put this, this stupid, happy face on everything, tell everybody how happy you are and how I'm such a wonderful guy, you make me want to puke. Why? You know how much I care for you. You don't care squat about me. You never did. Donna. get in here? Hi, Tori. How did you get in here? Oh, don't worry. Nobody knows that I'm here. Oh, wonderful. You mean you think no one saw you come in. What about when you leave, which is going to be right now? Go. No, I'm afraid not. There's something that we need to discuss, something that's been bothering me. No, there isn't. I am tired, and I want you to go away. Actually, I don't need to talk to you. Excuse me. Princess. Princess, I need to talk to you. Princess? English lit class. Uh, uh, your class is right after mine. Sometimes I see you coming in when I'm walking out. Yeah, yeah. I've, um, I've seen you too when you're going out. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know you're the same guy who did those great drawings. Oh, yeah, model. You got trouble, Chris. What? Check it out, man. 